Welcome back to the Fit Minute Podcast, where we talk all things health, fitness, and lifestyle. I hope you enjoy the show. Well, welcome back. I'm your host, Gabby Mazar, and on today's episode, I have Corinne Namani. She is a certified hydrotherapist and the author of Shit Isn't a Dirty Word. Um, so welcome to the show, Corinne. Thanks for coming on today. Uh, why Thank you-, you so much for having me. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, why don't you start by telling us a little bit about yourself, who you are, and what you do? Um, obviously, we, we might talk a little bit about poo today, but um, why don't you tell us yeah. about yourself first? Of course. Well, I'm Karina Khmani. I'm a mother of four. Um, yeah, <laughs> a woman. I own a business called Pure Center. I wrote a book called She Is in a Dirty Word. And I own a vitamin company called Noah, and it's all connected to the digestive health. So I'm in the business for 24 years. So I'm calling myself, actually, that's what I do. I'm expert when it comes to gut health. So and you, have the, you have the nickname, the like the colonics to the stars. Yeah. So we do, you do colonics as well. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. That's my main thing is colonics. And when they say colonics and gut health and supplement for gut health and shit is in a dirty word, it all comes together to the same thing. Everything starts and ends in our gut. So I'm doing colonics for 24 years. So yeah, I've seen a lot of shit in my life. Star shit, simple people, shit. everything is the same at the end of the day. Uh, yeah. So when someone have a problem like in their gut, they're probably going to come to me. Or if they want to clean their gut, they will come to me. And what I'm trying to do the past 24 years besides, you know, touch the stars, uh, it's to break walls to for everything that, you know, is about colon cleans, colon therapy, gut health. The subject that no one likes to talk about. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. Yeah. Talking about it, <laughs> bringing it to the crowd. <laughs> yeah, like uh, like our partners sometimes like to say, don't like to think that we also poop. <laughs> like everybody poops. I know, everybody poops. I promise everybody have the same. And every time I do my like my lectures or talk about it, I'm saying after you talk to me, you're never gonna look at poop again <laughs> like you, you like you do right now. And you will think differently about the whole system because it's so important and it's so important. Some don't have an idea about the importance of the, the matter, you know. Why don't you why don't you tell us a little bit about gut health and how one how colonics can help with gut health but also how gut health relates to other other things you know like emotional health or or just sure. other things in your body with pleasure with pleasure well, I would always like to answer that for all the audience I'm going to ask one question if you answer yes you probably need it so if you suffer from bloating constipation, headache, depression, anxiety, heaviness, low energy, fatigue, uh, PMS. Did I miss anything? Any over emotion? If you answer one of those questions really quick in three seconds, it's me. You probably need some cleanse, some form of cleanse. And that brings me to talk about gut health and colonics. What is gut health in general? Um, we have our colon, so everybody knows we have our digestive system, which is the colon, intestine, uh, liver, stomach, all those. I and mean, we're not going to go and do biology or science session for that. But in general, this is what happened. Think about it like a car that you take every three months to change some oil. The same happened in the body. In order for all the system to work together properly, we need some oil. So that oil will come in a few forms. One is a cleanse to clean all the toxins, blockages, waste, emotions, physical and um, 
spiritual. And the other thing is to feed. So it's feeding by supplement like probiotics, digestive enzymes, um, B12, D, and et cetera. So this is in general digestive system, digestive health. Our system works perfectly fine if we're not going to touch or feel or eat. But since we do all that, uh, I'm sorry about my language, but we fucked up somewhere in the middle, you know? So something happened to that system. And I'll give an example, like when we're in stress or we're over emotion, we hold. So hold, hold equal constipation. So that's what I want people to start to think as. And the fact that we go to the restroom three times to four times to seven times a day, day doesn't mean you're clean it just means that one you have amazing metabolism two you have so many blockages that it comes in several times so it's really important also to look at texture smell color i mean there is so much into it i mean i wish it was like everything in half an hour but it's not it's a big subject and it's so important now, imagine as well that we leave food outside. What happened to that food? You know, it's going to come with gas and it's going to go rotten, right? So imagine what happened in the body. We leave food for a day or two when food didn't digest for at least 24 to 48 hours, sometimes even more than that. It stays there combined with all the juices, with all the... um toxins we have big mess there and that's one of the reason we want to start to cleanse one of the form of cleanse is colonics just for the people to know our colon is 5.7 feet long that's a big freaking shit tube that's a big deal that's a lot <laughs> that's a lot of shit going through that tube over course of life. So waste can stay there for up to 15 to 20 to 30 years. Medication that you've taken can be there for ages, you know? So um, you're not going to find crayons or something, but toxins and, <laughs> toxins and waste, yeah, it could be, but that's only going to happen uh, through a lab. It's not going to happen through a session. In session, you're not going to see that. So there is up to 15 pounds of waste inside of us, up to, that's a lot. So, and the only form that I know how to clean is colonics. So colonics, as we like to call it, colonics, colon hydrotherapy, colon therapy, uh, colon embryo enema, whatever name you want to call it, that's colonics. That's what I'm specializing in. It's not as bad as it sounds. It's a 45 I mean, it's pretty sure I do reserve an hour. A person come to me with a smile and live with extra smile. And of course, like you get to see everything. You're fully covered. Um, we run tubes to the rectum. And I know it sounds awful, but it brings me to my book. That's why I wrote the book after 24 years to tell everybody it's really not as bad. It's very easy. In the book, I... You know, I demonstrate and I, I wrote every step of the way of what is colonics. So I'm not going to repeat that. But if someone wants to buy a book, it's amazing, funny book. And it's right to the point. It's actually going to be much knowledge to people. Uh, like I said, it's very simple. 45 minutes. We run water inside the cone. So the person will feel like they're about to go, like taking a dump, a diarrhea feeling. And the minute they feel that I release the water and you can see what comes out of you in screens. So what you see is what you get. There is no hiding feed, but very important to say, there is no touch, no odors, no nothing. It's very simple. I know people are going to start to raise eyebrows. She's insane. It goes through my rectum. It's, it's nothing. It's like, it's very small, the speculum. Uh, and it's amazing when you see or feel the release of things, you feel like in heaven. 
and it's cleaning your skin, it's cleaning your thoughts. Clean your iris, it cleans your gut. I did colonics today, so I feel like in a cloud today. Uh, I, I did also clean, I always clean myself, so at least once a week. So my skin always looks good, feels good, and I'm saving a lot of money for both of So, <laughs> so what kind of result? Okay, so what kind of results do people see when they do get colonics? Like, what, okay, so, what what do people come for you for? Come to you for, and what do they? What are the results they see after? You know what? People will come for. I like to call it X because they will come for many reasons. One will come because uh, they have constipation. The other one because they feel fatigue. Uh, another person will come because of bloating, changing diet. They did something. I don't know. There were stress, uh, back pain, PMS. Uh, people will come for various things. And there is also people that are only going to come to cleanse because they know they're familiar and it's uh, just to keep health. And there is people that have other disease that they will come to, to do that cleanse again. Um, so this is the reason why people will come. The feeling, it's really hard to describe because it's like, like really walking on clouds. You feel like something left your body, like a package left your body, like uh, something heavy on your soul. Because like I said before, it's not just physical, it's also emotional, it's uh, spiritual. You release a lot of everything. and. Uh, most importantly, you release toxins so your skin will clear up almost immediately. And you feel that glowiness. I can't even explain. It's clean. You know how you clean your house? You don't want anyone to mess it up. That's exactly how you feel. <laughs> that is the best feeling, you know, when you come. I know. <laughs> Everything's. I know. I can definitely understand that. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your book? So you wrote the book after 24 years. You felt like yeah. you really needed to, to help. I'll tell you. Yeah, it, you know, it all started from a very, I don't like to say bad joke, but yeah, kind of bad joke. Because um, I wasn't born to be an author. Maybe yes, but that wasn't my dream. My dream was to heal people and that's what I'm doing. I'm a healer. Uh, but more and more clients of mine, whether they are superstars or not, they came with the same thing. Karine, there is no information out there. And even if there is information, the information is very laconic, very superficial from one side or very harsh, like uh, science, like nothing really inviting. It just like saying a fact that, like I said before, like colony, like colony is 5.7 feet long, water is going in, very scary. Nothing real that doesn't give you anything besides few facts. And even if you go and read some books, no one talks about colonics or no one talks about the waste, no one talks about your feeling. They will talk about fast. Fast, juice fast, be clean, being emotional, clean. And at the end of you know the line, you're gonna see, you're gonna see and do colonics. Okay, do colonics, but nothing really more than that. And it came to my mind that I was like, you know, something, maybe I should do something about it. So that's how everything starts. And I met a girl that met a guy that told me about uh, how to write and how we can come together and, you know, rewrite the book and write it in the best possible way. And we worked over a year. It was the most amazing process ever because it's to bring everything I know and all my passion into pages. And I always wanted it to be funny. Funny because the way I talk about it, it has to be some humor with some serious. You know, I, I didn't want people to be bored. But from the other hand, I want that the average Joe from the street will understand what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Another point I wanted to put is not to be afraid of it, like to really come to open something. 
my goal in that book was to open some barrier, to break the taboo around shit, waste, colonics, constipation. You know how many people around you are suffering from it, and but no one talks. Why? Because they're either ashamed or it's not a subject that is so popular. But this is something that is not humor, but it's, it's funny. In the past three years, colon cancer, colon cancer is on the rise. Rectal cancer is on the rise. And still, about it. So I do talk about it in the book, and I do all the connection between colonics, fertility, cancer, depression, anxiety. I'm closing a lot of circles that make sense to you, to everybody, to at least to rethink or to, like I said before, to look at shit differently. When you finish to read the book, you're never going to look at the digestive system like you like you looked before. It, it's very interesting. Like I mentioned before, you're going to start to look for um, color, smell, um, texture of the poop. Even as a mother, you're going to start to look at your kids to, to see that it's healthy because each thing uh, identified something like inflammation, blockages, poison, um, toxins, uh, problems, emotional problems. So it indicates so many things. And if you, if, you, if you know about it and if it talks to you, you're like, wow, maybe I should add more fibers. Wow, maybe I should do more liquid. What, you know, it's going to give you a lot of extra extra information without Google. And that's how you train. And for the people that have a problem like fertility, for example, I help a lot of fertility problem, a lot. And only by cleansing. So if I can help someone that's struggling with, with the problem by just cleaning, it means the world for me. So that's the book. The book is talking about pretty much everything that's connected to the digestive uh, health. Of course, some explanation about supplements. And of course, with a lot of humor, how it goes, what to expect, what not to expect, and give you a better idea of how your body gives you um, signs and how to listen to your body. So speaking of vitamins, you also have a vitamin line, you said, and you do meal plans as well. Can you talk a little bit about your vitamins? And oh, yes. Oh, I love that's one of my favorite subjects. My vitamins, um, I can show you a little. Okay. I'm going to turn the camera just. For... Oh, I don't know how to turn the camera. Doesn't matter. I will do it. Oh, here I have one. Okay. You can see that my vitamins have very bright colors. So when I made them, I made them by the chakras, like our body. So each one represents some area in our body and how it heals. All my vitamins are natural, uh, vegan, of course. Um, and they work on the digestive system. So I built the whole line based on digestive health. We have the probiotics. Probiotics are amazing. And probiotics is something that everybody needs, especially after the COVID and with the flu now, those are the antibiotic of the body. We have our best seller is the digestive enzymes. Those are amazing for people that are either on paleo diet or consume a lot of protein because that helps to break the protein and it helps to break the meals. So it's great for uh, bloating sensation. We have the B12 uh, that is good for the bones and skin, hair, nails. We have um, the acai detox that it's responsible for everyday detox, whether you do colonics or not. Uh, we have our comb cleanser that goes along with pretty much every vitamin we have. And it's actually amazing start if you want to start a cleanse to, to use the corn cleanser. We're not using Senna or Lexative. All I use is uh, magnesium. 
usually psyllium husk and some other herbs. Uh, of course, I have the vitamin D and K, and we have our special vitamin, the gummy, the apple cider gummies. They're so adorable, sweet and tasty. And we only allow two, and they're great for weight loss. So I do have a variety of supplements, and they're going uh, hand by hand with my meal plans because I have two. One popular is the Candida Cleanse that I recommend everybody. Candida Cleanse, it's like basically, basic cleanse detox for the first timers. Or if you're not first timer, it's always a good thing to do. So when you sign for my uh, Candida Cleanse, it gives you seven days Candida Cleanse. And you get to your email everything, shopping list, ingredients, meals meal preparation, supplement list, and everything. And then we have also a um, WhatsApp group that you can always ask questions, put recipes inside, you know, to share. Sharing is caring always. And we are very responsive there. And the supplements are good for a month supply. So you get to, to take them the whole month, but the actual candida cleanse is only for seven days. And uh, the prices are very good and affordable. So it's, uh, to, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's $240, but uh, on the website, probably you're going to have a discount for your audience. And of course, free shipping. The other programs, it's um, straightforward 21 days uh, clean eat. On that program, I'm teaching people how to eat clean, so again, you get all the shopping list, meals preparation for four weeks, morning, lunch, and dinner. And you have variety for uh, vegan meal, paleo, uh, plant-based, vegetarian. I mean, I, I worked so hard for those meals. So it's going to be affordable and reasonable and easy to, to do. And don't need to go and you know buy crazy things. You have so many combinations you can do by yourself. Very easy to maintain. And again, you have the list of supplements that comes. Basically, you don't need to do anything, and it's yours for life. So you pay one time, and it's yours for life. The supplements is the only thing that you probably gonna reorder. Yeah. And I'm so proud of them. Those two meal plans are very basic. Of course, uh, you can always go to our. Um, purecenter.com. We have a store there. You can get your basic detox plan, which is only the supplement. And of course, they come with a direction how to use them. Uh, you can text us, call us, WhatsApp us, email us. Very easy. Again, free shipping. My book you can find in Barnes and & Noble and Amazon.com. Uh, and of course, in my website and you know, and it's amazing. <laughs> Life is good. And, you know, speaking of which, today's Passover, and I have to say we have some audience that celebrate Passover, happy Passover. Passover and Easter are two beautiful holidays that represent spring, but more than anything, beginning and cleanse. I mean, if I'm thinking about the bunnies, they're coming out of their holes. It's, it's spring. Everything renew. Same as cleanse, same as colonics. This is the time to renew our body, renew our thoughts, renew our emotions. You know, it's a spring cleanse. That's amazing time and really good time to start with something like that. Yeah. So you also have a podcast as well. So can you uh, tell us a little bit about your podcast and share a little bit about that? Oh, yeah. First of all, you can... Uh, Whoever listened to us can follow us on Instagram. We have a link to and probably you're going to post also all our links yeah. to everything. Um, we have a podcast live that I talk about everything, but really everything. It's called Shit is in a Dirty Word. We're laughing there. Everything is very humor and serious. I have a lot of guests that there are doctors, um, trainers everybody 
study in the field or people that were sick, like Lyme disease. Um, so every time we interview or I just have fun with Larry and um, Eric, we talk about serious stuff. So we have a lot of episodes. Each one is individual talking about fertility, about cancer, about supplement, about emotions, about physical, emotional, ideology, capping. I talk about shit all the time and making the connection to your that hell because at the end everything starts and ends over there and this is a very important thing for this is also a tip for everybody first of all we starting with sprinklings i highly recommend to drink a lot of water never regret anything you do whatever you do it's okay move on don't hold hold mean constipation so don't hold emotion, don't hold fight, don't hold you know, things that you shouldn't. Every day is a new day. So like very important, you don't want problems. You don't want disease. When we hold and we, we regret and we beat ourselves, that's when disease starts to come. So that's one tip. The other tip is listen to your body. Be tuned with your body. The body talks to us all the time. If you start to have pimples, if suddenly you didn't go for four days, you didn't use the restroom for four days, you know, ask yourself questions. What did I do? What did I eat? What happened? Did I was more stressed? I flew. I did ask questions. And always have tests like colonoscopy. If you pass 40 and up, do a colonoscopy or there is uh, another test today that is very important before a colonoscopy. It's a stool test and that can actually give you great results if you need colonoscopy or you don't. As far as uh, mammogram, a pap smear, there is so many uh, small tests that you should do every year, blood work. And when you do blood work, make sure you check blood work for colon liver, um, parasites, bacteria, candida, yeast, you know, those type of things. Because you're going to be surprised how many people don't check, don't do, and then disease happen. And, you know, I wish everybody to be really healthy because healthy is wealth. If you're healthy, you have, you know, power and you can actually work and create and do. When you're not, unfortunately, you spend money. So I'm saving you a lot of money by, first of all, check, clean your system, clean everything. I mean, feel ready and feel healthy. Your life will be changed. That's a game changer. When you start colonics, you change your life because it does help with pretty much every single thing. Definitely. And, and like we said, gut health is very, very important and everything kind of starts and ends there. So uh, if, if anybody's interested in learning more about it, you can find the book on Amazon. Uh, I will have links to that in the show notes as well and links to your Instagram, links to your podcast also. So I'll share that also in the show notes. But um, thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing all of that, uh, sharing your information. I know a lot of people are definitely afraid of getting colon I know high colon hydrotherapy I think listen I understand and that's why maybe the first step buy my book read it I promise you after you read it you will make the appointment don't be afraid it's really nothing it's nothing it's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable but not more than that I, I promise and I usually never promise I promise it's really it, it's like uh, there is harder thing than this one it's really nothing uh, read my book I promise when you read it you, you will have the idea of what is it exactly and again you know whether you want to do colonics or not start with some form of cleanse like I mentioned before you do candida cleanse you do comb you do something before any cleanse you'll do it's going to be one step forward for, to clean the body don't wait till it's too late because when that when it's too late, that hurts. That shit hurts. Yeah, exactly. When it's too late. 
Exactly. So, and listening to your yeah. body is so important also. Very important. Very important. And one last thing, you know, I know people know think that red carpet, it's all glamorous and glowing because they did botas. No, they came to me and they did a lot of colonics prior to their... <laughs> that, that's why they're so ready and that's why they're so like flowy and like so clean. No, they do. And of course, some of them keep their health. But, you know, beauty radiance from inside out. So the minute you clean, your beauty shows outside. You glow. And that's more important than any other Botox. Yeah, Not that so I have problem with Botox, but hey, clean yourself. More important. Yeah. And if you're getting ready to do the red carpet, you should do your colonic. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. People talk shit. It's okay. Don't be embarrassed. No one talks about cancer 15 years ago and now everybody do talk. So please share. If you have a problem, ask question. Ask. Don't hold it for yourself. Don't be ashamed. Everybody have some problem with digestive health. Everybody. Yep. And I'm saying from experience, everybody. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I'll post all of that information in the show notes so everybody can find your book and find your podcast and talk shit all day long. <laughs> thank you so much. And you can contact Larry by, uh, via email and he's going to send you the link to um, the discount for your audience so they can just enjoy it. And have an amazing holiday, Passover, Easter, spring, and may everybody gonna be healthy, wealthy, and with a lot of love. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> Thanks thank for so having for me. And uh, yeah, thank you everybody for listening. Uh, Thanks. Let's let's talk some more shit, and we'll see you all next week. Oh yeah. Thanks.